Greetings everyone, Xanrath here. Welcome back to more Hearthstone and some more One Night in Karazhan Adventures. Today is the release of the Opera. So let's go ahead and uh, make the purchase and uh, see how many... Oops. Uh, okay. Cool. And I was going to say, let's see how long it takes this time. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, if there's going to be like a lot of people trying to get in immediately. Uh, but looks like everything is not too bad. So we got the wolf and uh, Little Red Riding Hood. I'm not sure if that's what she was called in game. I don't remember because you know obviously copyrights and stuff like that. So they try to do a little, um, try try to mix up the names a little bit, right? Like Julianne uh, and Romulo. So uh, I remember this uh, encounter. This was a single encounter. You could get three different tales. I think there was Romulo and Juliet. Sorry, Romulo and Julianne. There was the witch. Um, so that would have been the Wizard of Oz as the parody, I think. Uh, so there was like the Tin Man, the Lion, Dorothy, Toto, whatever the dog's name was. Uh, but I think they were mixed up. And then the Witch was the final encounter. Um, there was also, uh, the Big Bad Wolf, right? I remember he dropped the shotgun. That was a pretty cool transmog. Anyways, um, true love, hero power, if you don't have Romulo, summon him. Four mana, okay, cool. Wonder what Romulo does. Um, don't really care, because we're going to jump in and take him on with the uh, Dragon War Warrior, of course. Keeping true uh, with the same deck. Um, I don't remember this encounter very well in, in the WoW days. Uh, I did raid Karazhan, I think I mentioned it, uh, when it was relevant. Um, I did clear it, except I think for some of the optional dragon bosses, potentially, I don't remember exactly. Um, and then I ran it a couple times after the fact of Transmog, but I don't remember much about, uh, this particular, uh, encounter. Uh, so it looks like Julianne is, uh, immune when Romulo is up, potentially. So I guess we'll hold on to the War Axe, because it's always a nice draw. Romulo we can kill on turn two, so I guess we'll take four damage, um... Sorry, 8 damage. Uh, she only has 15 health. So I'm guessing in... Um, I'm guessing... Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm guessing... Uh, buh, 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 what am I going to say? I guess I could just Blood to Icar this guy, get a 2-2, and then just trade it in next turn. Don't have to take as much damage. Save the War Axe for something else. Uh, I might do that, just to get a 2-2. At the very least, if he doesn't trade, I can just Axe it and just have more presence, right? Um... Eh, I might, I might end up doing that. Uh. Yeah. I'll probably just go for the board presence here. Uh, that kind of sucks. So we'll go ahead and make that trade. And so we got that for free. He can take this. Uh, or rather she can take this. She's gonna go face. Okay, I see. I see how things are. Uh. <laughs> All right, all right, man. This is a ter some terrible hand, uh, some terrible draws here. I guess we, I don't know. Do I just hit that, execute it, and then that's so bad, uh, man. Uh, hopefully I can, hopefully I can draw something to play. Uh, four mana. I, really, realistically, anything. I just need to play something on turn three, and not just pass my turn. Or sorry, turn four, like I did on turn three. So she's just gonna go face a little bit. Um, so it looks like she's just all taunts, trying to. Yeah, might as well skip my turn. That sounds pretty fair. All right, so skip two turns. That's not the best. In her this would just be over instantly. Um, so I guess I'll just corrupt her that. At least I have a turn five, which is kind of nice. I guess I do have a turn six as well. Yeah, I probably, I probably should have just, uh, executed the shield bearer, to be honest. Like, uh, I should have known I wouldn't have drawn anything on turn three and four, and, or on turn four. So I should have just, uh, executed for some, something to do on turn three. So here, 
Hmm. Oh, that's kind of funny that she, she yeah, she is uh at fifteen or less health. That's kind of interesting. Um, let's go ahead and just play this. Uh, not gonna play it safe because you know can't afford that at this point. I don't think, at least. So we go for some trades there. Uh, all right, ravaging goal wouldn't be bad. Nope. Okay. So, see if I can draw into something that might be useful. Nope. So I have to armor up, otherwise I'm dead. Uh, make that trade. So that's face. There we go. Okay, that's fine-ish, I guess. All right, so let's see. Um, guess I can do this. Kill Romulo. Or I guess I do that. Kill that. Get, leave more health on the the Drake there, and then maybe just Corcoran into the the two one, I guess. So sure. And do that. And go ahead and do this. Throw out the uh, dragon and armor up. I guess maybe we do this. I think that's fine. Yeah, taking one extra damage isn't a huge deal. Okay, that's an interesting trade to make. Uh, in that order, at least. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Bop him there. Lag a little bit. Um... Do this. I think we just go for some board presence. Like, do I think she can do four damage? Probably not. I don't know. We'll see. It looks like her deck is just all taunts. So, you know. There's a uh, Romulo again. Images. That's fine. Some draw. Okay. So. Mm, I guess I have to do. Let's see if she's smart. I'm just gonna leave a Drake up. See if she's smart enough to uh to draw with her acolyte. I mean there's no reason she wouldn't be smart enough to draw with her acolyte. Uh although she's probably just gonna kill this guy off. I don't know. I think we're in an okay spot. I think the lesson to be learned here, um is that don't skip don't skip turns. Usually not a good idea. Right? Should have known to draw better. Alright, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and kill that off and then Julianne down. I kind of think that uh, if she's going to say, I drink to thee, right? Instead of like killing her off or like dealing in fatal damage, she should like pause really big. You're like, oh crap, second phase? And then nope, she just chugs a potion, and then she's, yeah. Anyways, uh, Pompous, Thespian, 3-2 Taunt, that's alright. Onyx Bishop, summon a friendly minion that died this game. Oh yeah, we saw that in the Priest uh, class challenge, I think, right? Alright, uh, next up, it looks like it's the, the Bad Wolf, Big Bad Wolf. What big teeth she has? Passive, Hero Power, Trembling, enemy minions are... 1-1 one, one and cost 1. Uh. Well. We'll try with the... <laughs> the Dragon Roar deck. Um, there were a couple... Encounters, I think I mentioned in the previous adventure, uh, League of Explorers, where you uh, couldn't just take in... Like, mo most... Most normal modes, at least, for adventures, you can basically just bring in any deck, and it could be you're fine, right? Um... But for uh, 
for some of the... There's, like, one encounter that I remember, um, maybe two, that you had to actually construct a certain deck in order to be effective. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll just throw out the Chromagus and get some sick extra draws. Uh, wait, what? Okay, that was kind of weird. I was like, why do you get buffed? And then, oh, uh, that's... Feels bad, man. That feels bad. Alright, I guess just throw out... We'll see how this works. Um, enemy minions. Okay, so only enemy minions. That kind of sucks, actually. Alright. Murgleton. Guess we'll slam that guy. We'll draw. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to be feasible. Um, uh, sure. I think that's probably the only way we can <laughs> potentially win. We're not going to be dealing enough damage. If you play as, like, weak little minions like that, I think, that's, I think we'll be okay with that. Uh... I don't want to play the ghoul. Okay, so just play the Harrison Jones. That's a body. I don't know. That was. Does he? Would the wolf have a weapon? I... Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. Stream sniping, perhaps? No. <laughs> All right. I see. You. I see you. Uh, I guess we'll just throw this out. Um. And we just smork it up, I guess. We just have to outsmork him. I hope he uses this into the uh, the ghoul here. That's meh. Um, are these beasts? I guess they are. That's fine. That's fine too, I think. So I'll trade into the uh, wolf, and then just ravaging. Or actually, yeah, I'll just ravaging ghoul here. I was gonna say maybe a revenge, but no, I think we're good. Um, we'll save the axe just in case he has like an ooze or something. I don't think the. Okay, we're cutting it a little bit close, but uh, I think we're being okay. Actually, I could just uh, trade here and take two less damage. I think I'll do that. Or I can execute. Let's do that, actually. <laughs> actually, gotta attack first, right? We execute that. It should probably kill my ghoul, but... Looks like it's gonna go face instead. That's fine. Alright! So it actually worked out. Um... <laughs> oh, crap. Hold on. This is... Nope. Okay, he's gonna swipe... So that actually, I think that play, he could have had six more damage on my face, minus one because of thing. Yeah, okay, I think we're, uh, we've got to BM as much as we can, right? Probably should attack into the, uh, the tiger there, but, hey. Hunted? It's, I think it's very appropriate that we use the hunter hero power then. Yeah, I wasn't... I wasn't expecting that to actually work out. I think we, we, I was thinking we might have had to make another deck for that, but his deck was slow enough when we got pretty lucky with the, um, the, uh, Hunter Hero power to kind of smirk him down. That did like half his health, I think, right? No, we got 12 damage off the, with the war axes. Um, no, it did, it did a fair amount. I mean, it helped us race him, for sure. Uh, kindly grandmother, death threat, I'll summon a 3-2 bad wolf. 2 mana, 1-1. One, one. Okay, so it's 2 mana for 4-3, four, essentially. Um, and it's a beast with a death row. That's pretty good, I think. Uh, Arcane Giant. So we got another iteration of Giants. Um, costs one less for each spell you've cast this game. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Not sure. I mean, like, maybe, like, what, what decks cast a lot of spells? Yog, Yog decks might run it? I don't know. Uh, so, like, what? Tempo Mage, uh, Rogue. Druid also has a Yog variant. Huh, interesting. The Crone, that's what she was called, not the Witch. Holy crap. <laughs> Deal 100 damage can't be used if Dorothy is alive. So I guess we have to protect Dorothy. Holy crap. Twister. Alright, Dorothy. Uh, 
I don't remember, because I remember you had to fight Dorothy and her, like, crew, and then you fought the crone um, in the WoW raid variant, so I don't remember the reasoning, but I guess in this case we have to protect Dorothy. Uh, she's all, like, rainbow sparkly. Flee my pretties. Deal 100 damage, like, to everyone, or to, like, something? I need to read that again. Or everything. Do 100, da do 100 damage to everything. I think that's, that's reasonable, too. Uh, so she has taunt, but she doesn't actually have taunt. It looks like. Minion oh, minions to the left have charge, and minions to the right have taunt. Oh, okay. Because when I moused over her at first, I just saw it's a taunt. I was like, oh, she doesn't actually have taunt. Um, deal 100 damage can't be used. Just to heal 100 damage. Hopefully it's not 100 damage split, right? Or you're just going to be sitting here for a long time with animations. Um, I guess we want Murgleton to have taunt because he has a little bit more health and we want these guys to have charge. Uh, so minions on the left have charge, minions on the right have taunt. I guess we could just give them all. Nah, let's get, let's give Murgleton some, uh, some taunt action. Um, uh, let's take Lesser just in case. She, I mean, I think smirking it up is fine, but just to make sure that Dorothy doesn't, uh, Get raffle stomped. So we got fairy dragon here on the left. Throw down the frothing on the uh, I guess on the left as well. All right, cool, cool. Um, consider a ravaging ghoul next turn. Just deal a lot of damage. Get this guy pumped up. Um, hmm. I think having a knife juggler is fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and taunt up the ghoul. Get some crazy damage going. Um, seems like it's almost over. Okay, never mind. Man, feels bad. Feels bad. Can I kill him? Yes. I can kill it without. Execute top deck. Cool. Um. It's two damage, right? Yeah. So we're good. We're good. Just execute that. Easy. Um. Give Dorothy some love there. And then just pop. Alright. Alright. Wasn't too bad. Okay, Wicked Witch Doctor, whenever you cast a spell, summon a random basic totem. That's pretty cool. Uh, three mana, or sorry, four mana, three, four. Mm, okay, yeah, so it's three mana worth of stats, but you get the little effect thing, so that's okay. Uh, Moat Lurker, destroy a minion, death rattle, resummon it. Six mana, three, three. Um, do you get to choose, like, target the minion? Could it be used on enemy minions? That's kind of an interesting mechanic. So, alright, let's make some predictions for Heroic before we jump into those. Um, Romulo and Julian. Oh, we gotta see the cards first. I forgot about that. Uh, so we got Swash Burglar, Pirates, uh, Rogue card, of course. Uh, Battle Cry, add a random class card to your hand from your opponent's class, so more, uh, stealing effects. Uh, 1 1 for 1 mana, that's interesting. Uh, Barnes, Battle Cry, summon a 1 1 random, a copy of a random minion in your deck. So, you know, for those non battle cry decks, right? Death Throttle could be very useful, um, in like Nazoth type decks. Um I don't know what else, like getting a rag or something maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It it seems pretty interesting. We'll see what we can do with those. Class challenges, Paladin and uh, Warlock. Sounds good. The Mangery is next uh next week. So let's real quick kind of do some predictions. Um Julianne I'm guessing True Love is probably going to cost a little less. Um, she has, basically she just plays a bunch of taunts to keep Romulo alive. I mean, I've, they all probably have more health, maybe some armor. Uh, True Love might cost less. Uh, he could have more stats, be harder to kill, things like that. Um, Big Bad Wolf, I'm not sure. Uh, enemy minions are one one and cost one. It's probably enemy minions are one one and they cost the actual amount they actually they still like they they don't have a mana discount, right? So they're just one ones for however much they actually cost. Um, 
and then the crone. Um, maybe we won't have the charge taunt thing from the left and right. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that's probably what the mechanic might be. So anyways, uh, up next is class challenges, and then we go into uh, heroics after that. So um, that's it for the opera, this wing of the um, One Night in Karazhan adventure. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.